Hey everybody, welcome back. Thank you for clicking this video. So today I'm coming in to have a quick chat with everyone about some articles I've seen on the internet and on Facebook regarding cruising, when it will start back up and all the new guidelines and policies that could possibly take place, including wearing masks. <laughs> would you wear a mask on the cruise? Hmm. Would I even wear a mask on the cruise? Ah, it's craziness. Let's talk about it. So today on John Hill's Facebook page, um, if you do not know, John Hill is the brand ambassador for Carnival. He posted an article on the, from the Carnival website talking about the new guidelines that CLIA and the CDC have come up with, with which possibly bring cruising back in. So there were things discussed as far as um, like masks and 100% testing for all cruisers, all staff members. They're talking about guidelines for revamping the medical area on the ship. Um, employees, like medical facilitators, things like that. Also, information about what will happen if you go on a shore excursion. Like, would you have to have an excursion only booked through the cruise line or an excursion that will require you to wear a mask or if they'll let people back on board if they don't follow the guidelines for all of that. It even says something about using vendors from the different um, shore stops that will make forth and will um, make it mandatory to wear the mask and to follow the guidelines that the ship will go through. Now this what says it was a industry-wide decision, which means it's not just Carnival, it's all the cruise lines that will probably end up following the whole thing. So I think it's a good idea and it gives people a sense of security on how the cruise lines are going to work things possibly from now on. So <laughs> there, on John Hill's post, of course there's tons and tons of comments on it, but there was this one comment that really stuck out to me. I'm gonna pop it up on the screen. This lady was serious, okay? She was like, I will not wear a mask. I will never sail again. I want a full refund. You know, like I could just see her, how her face, how like she felt that in her soul. May She had like over 150 replies to her comment. You just had to go and scroll through to see all of them. It was crazy. So in regards to would I wear a mask or not, um, my answer is definitely yes. I would wear a mask if it meant that I could get on a cruise ship in two days. <laughs> you know, I like I would get on a cruise ship just like that if I if I had to wear a mask. And I think what got me about her comment was um I don't I mean of course I don't know this lady, but like in her everyday life, does she protest wearing a mask everywhere she goes? Or is it just because it's a cruise ship? You know what I mean? Like we wear these things everywhere we go like it's gotten to the point where now we buy these masks the same way we'll go buy some groceries like oh i only got two masks left let me go and grab another box um or some people are using the cloth ones what you can wash and reuse and all that but me personally i just like to use the, the surgical ones and you go buy a box of 10 buy a box of 50 from amazon you know just grab it up it's not a big deal but when you think about it we wear these masks now as an accessory to everything that we do. So we keep them in our purse, we keep them in our car. I was at the grocery store today, I had to go to another store. You just get out, you put it on and you do it. You don't even think about it. Some of us, you know, you might think about it, but for the most part, we've been wearing these masks since March. So for the last, you know, six months or so, it's just been a part of our life. And I don't see the difference with getting on the cruise ship because you know, I've taken a couple of small vacations and you had to wear a mask in all public areas. You had to wear a mask around the swimming pool. The only time you didn't have to wear a mask was when you were in the water. So I don't see the difference on a cruise ship. If I'm on the Lido deck, I'm gonna put the mask on, I'm gonna walk around, I'm gonna talk to people. If I wanna get in the pool, I'll take it off and get in the pool. If I wanna drink, just the same here, you know, you lift it up, you take a sip. And you wanna eat the same thing. And I'm sure there's going to be other things that are gonna take place. You know, like now here in our hometown, we can go to restaurants, but the restaurants, those tables are set up six feet apart. The tables are spread out in certain areas. So you have to walk with your mask on to your table, but once you sit down, you can take it off. The waitresses and all employees keep theirs on the entire time. 
it's been working out fine. We've been eating fine. Everybody's been having a good time. So I don't see a big difference between that. Yeah, it's more people on the cruise ship, but at the same time, if the masks are supposed to stop and everybody has one on, then we shouldn't get sick. You know what I mean? I know there's a chance that it could happen, but it's a chance that it could happen in your hometown, just the same as it could happen on a cruise ship. Um, and I think that if they did things like schedule times for eating or schedule times for the shows in the, the, you know, different areas where you might have more people space out the seating and then people have to make reservations. If you really want to see that show, you're going to pick a time and you're going to show up and you're going to sit in your seat and somebody's going to be spread out away from you and you're still going to wear your mask just like here. There's always a risk and we just have to decide if that's the risk you want to take. And just from that lady's comment, obviously that's a risk that she does not want to take, but to blame Carnival, it's not their fault. You know, she, they're losing out on money because they can't fill up a whole ship. They can't sell full capacity. They, they can't fill the room with stuff. You know what I mean? So it's not their fault that coronavirus happened. It's not their fault that the CDC and the CLIA are saying this is the only way you can get back into operation is if you do this. So I'm down for it. <laughs> Leave me a comment. Let me know if masks are required to go on a cruise. Will you? And um, let's all just be fair to everybody else. So if you do want to get on a cruise ship and wear a mask, that's awesome. Leave a comment and let me know, but let's not bash the people that don't want to. Or if you don't want to, let's not bash those of us who do want to, because this is not a debate over, um, you're wrong, you're going to spread the virus or this or that name calling, all that stuff. That's not welcome here. It is just, um, interesting to see how people perceive this whole virus and, how they think you know we're we're definitely people who like to travel who like to see new places who love the uh atmosphere of a cruise ship and we miss it so we would definitely get on the ship if we had to wear a mask um but there are some people who who don't want to do that and i understand that and that's your choice you know what i mean i think that the cdc and the clia and royal caribbean carnival norwegian all these cruise lines I think that they're doing the best that they can with the situation that they were given. And um, I'm ready, I am, I'm just ready to go. I done had five cruises cancel on me. I just wanna get on one, please, let's go. Um, it's crazy. So yeah, everybody, let's let's talk about it. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And um, we, gotta, we gotta get over this so we can get back out there on the seas. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you stopping by. If you are not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button on your way out, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.